Hello everybody, today we're going to unbox the Sennheim Mini Handheld Steadicam. Take a close-up look and then test it outdoors. So let's go ahead and open up the box. So let's open up the box. So this is the GoPro action camera mount. Let's put that aside. Then you have the steady cam. There is quite some weight to it, even though it's an aluminum construction, it's because of the counterweights that are on it to offer balance and steadiness when you are recording with your camera or DSLR or action camera. So basically the mount on here seems to be a quarter inch mount. So any camera, basically any kind of compact camera would have a quarter inch mount like that. And with same with most DSLRs as well. So that's really handy. So we'll be able to adjust the tension on there to get it to lock into place with lock the handle in place. And so let's um, release the screw and then we can swing the, drop the counterweight down for balance. And then the screw tightens back on very simply. So it's highly adjustable in terms of setting the position of the uh, balance. So obviously you kind of want the weight to be directly under your camera so that you have that perfect um, center of gravity. So these weights Make sure they're nice and tight so they don't wobble. So it's pretty simple in terms of adjustment because it's completely toolless. There is This is basically a wing nut and then just a knob there which is uh, easy to adjust. And once again, the tension on here for the grip to adjust to whichever position that you find most comfortable and suitable for your recording. So make sure the handle is nice and tight. And then we can once again make sure that this screw is screwed tightly 
against the actual frame itself um, just to make sure it doesn't wobble. So once again, that is adjustable as well in terms of the handle position. There are five holes down there, so that's pretty handy in terms of, um, once again, making sure that the uh, balance is right. Uh, you will, however, need a tool to um, remove this thread here so that it can be positioned at um, any of these holes. So that's something to bear in mind. Have a Phillips screwdriver or a really thin uh, coin. Let's see if I've got one handy. I've got a penny here, which just about works. So that's brilliant. And you only really need to nudge it off just that little bit and then it just comes off. Um, so yeah, before you set all these positions, always make sure that um, your camera is mounted on it first so you have an idea of, um, of um, getting the balance right. So let's try and mount the camera. I have a my trusty Nikon D3300 DSLR camera here. So we're going to test it outdoors with the this camera. But I also think that um, one thing that might work as well is I've got a Joby grip type, which I've uh, previously reviewed. And um, this is the grip type for the smartphone. Um, and I think it would work really well. Um, it looks like it would be able to fit onto this quarter inch standardized screw mount here so that would be quite an interesting thing to to have on this steady cam because once it's screwed on i can basically mount my or any um camera phone onto that or smartphone sorry and um and do some recording with it so let's see if this actually works bear with me because I've got the camera right in front of my face so it's not really the easiest thing to do wow so it does fit and then I can practically put my smartphone onto there and do some recording. Obviously, it's quite far back. I haven't bothered to adjust the position. I should put it more forward, um, and then and then uh, film it that way. So, so yeah. So let's um, put the DSLR on just just so you have an idea, because this is quite a small, steady cam, and to give you an idea of the kind of uh, size of DSLR that it can handle. So let's, so you can see there's actually a nice grid there where you can kind of put the camera on an offset position. So it doesn't really have to be in the middle. So it's nice to have that kind of adjustability. So just slide it between that, that um, rubber grip grid there. So obviously you don't want the strap to be on the steady cam when you're recording, but I'm just doing it for demonstration purposes. So let's put it forward.
And this is actually quite easy. And once again, I have to remind you that I have a tripod and camera in front of my face and I'm still able to do this relatively easy. Lee. Okay, so just always make sure that's nice and tight. I'll fasten it properly afterwards. But um, when I'm doing that, um, some shooting outdoors. Okay, so, so that's what it looks like. And let's put the handle back on, but obviously we need to um, mount the uh, thread back into the uh, frame, which seems to be quite easy to do. So basically, uh, once again, more or less toolless. The only tool so far that we've had to use is a coin here. But if you've got a screwdriver, a flathead screwdriver, that would do just the trick. I think I said Phillips earlier, I don't know why, but yeah, flathead, that's what you want to use. And um, screw the handle back on, obviously. And then you, you can see the, it's kind of leaning a bit. So what you want to do is, I think that's where the offset comes in handy because you don't want the camera to be right in the middle. So let's shift it to the left so we loosen that. Not there. Or that screw and then tighten. And then there we have it. It's, it's more balanced now and obviously there's some fine tuning to be done, but I'm not going to waste your time and do that on here. Um, yeah, so let's test the Steadicam outdoors. So that's the Sennheim Mini Handheld Steadicam. Thanks for watching and happy filming.